Hey guys, my name is Lily and today I want to do a little bit of training with my old recurve bow. And this bow here is really my favorite one because I've had it for over 10 years now and actually I get the best results with this bow. So today I'm at a very special Bakur, my favorite one in Wellersdorf. And we are going to shoot some 3D plastic animals. And I believe that this is the only training which comes very close to a real hunting situation. So let's start. Pretty nice. Okay, the first one was a little bit low, so I shot a second time, and the second time was good. <laughs> Look at this! Yeah! So this was a very difficult shot, it's 25 meters. So actually, I have done a small modification with my bow. Uh, here I had a piece of leather at the window, but I noticed that the leather was too thick and then the arrows were kicked to the side and then I was always shooting to the left. So now I have removed this leather at the side and since then I'm shooting so much better. So it's a real joy to shoot this bow now, which is really accurate. This chamois was at 20 meters. This was a very tricky shot because it's very steep. Nice bird. So I hit the target but I was quite far to the right. But it was not too bad. Oh my god, I missed! <sighs> yeah, the monkey is a very hard target. And I usually miss this target. <laughs> okay. okay, this target is also very difficult because it's a small target at about 18 meters. So yeah, I was a little bit high. But not too bad. I'm glad that I hit it at the first uh, shot. Now actually on my window I now have this residue of glue and leather. It's a little bit ugly uh, but actually I want to leave this on because uh, it's silencing the bow because otherwise if the arrow touches um, the wood here at the side it will make a sound and now with this um, glue residue or leather residue, it's actually really silent, so I want to leave this ugly surface alone. Yeah. Not bad for 25 meters. And the second one was also deadly. But of course, it would be better if it was in the center kill. <laughs> this is my best round so far. So, small kangaroo at 20 meters. I was a little bit low though. So, I love archery. Makes a lot of fun, especially if you hit the target. Uh, 
Oh, that was a bad shot, actually. And now comes the pigeon. And this is only for people who are a little bit crazy because there's no backstop. Let's see. Wow. The arrow has survived. Oh my god. Oh. Wow. This one was far too high. <sighs> yeah. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. <sighs> the next target is almost 40 meters away. It's a standing bear. <laughs> I hit it in the throat. Nice. Okay, here I was far too low. So that's the remaining parts of my first arrow. Rest in peace. But the second one was quite good. It's a quite hard target to shoot. Um, very small target at 15 meters and for these targets without a backstop I'm always taking wooden arrows because they don't cost as much as my carbon arrows and this is why I love this parkour so much because you have rocks everywhere and it's quite a challenging parkour so if you want to see uh, the location of this parkour I will uh, put a uh, link to Google Maps into the description below. Nice! Really good. Okay, here took two shots. Both of them were okay. That's a nice beaver. Today is my lucky day. <laughs> Woo! Nice. So this peak is about 25 meters away. And I shot it in a low spot, but that's still fine because pigs, they have their heart in this area, which is right here. So that would have been instant death. Nice. Oh my God, that's too low. So I definitely don't like this shot. Wow. Oh my god. I hit it in the um, kill zone. Nice. Oh. Yeah. I missed the first one and the second one was a belly shot again. So I'm definitely not happy with this target. This was better. Too high. Okay, so the second one was really good. First one was too high. Distance, the distance was 25 meters. I think I'm losing my strength now. The first one was low again, but the second one was okay. So after nearly 30 targets, uh, I can feel that my shoulder gets fatigued. And yeah, it's my own fault because um, I haven't trained with this bow for a long time. So now my muscles are not as strong as before. And then you get inaccurate. Okay, the last target is a tortoise, I believe. 
yeah, um, I gotta say, in real life, I would never shoot a turtle or tatars with a bow. I would just catch it with the hands. And there's one more thing, guys. So right now I'm using practicing tips, and these are not good for hunting. So for hunting, I have uh, hunting tips. Unfortunately, I've never hunted, or actually I've never hunted in my country, because it's not allowed. Uh, bow hunting is illegal. But one time I have shot a fish out of the sea at the coast of Africa, Gabun. And that was my only bow kill so far. So um, I've hunted a lot of animals, but only with the rifle here in Austria. And actually, I don't like that. So I would really like to, you know, live somewhere else where the laws are not as strict and where people have more freedom. But right now I'm stuck here in Austria because I have my family here. So maybe one day, I will leave my country and then I will retreat into the wilderness. Anyway, I'm now at the end of the parkour. I had a great round. I only missed a few animals out of almost 30, I believe. So that's pretty good for me. And I'm really happy uh, with my bow. And I will keep this bow and I will definitely not buy another bow again. This is it now for me. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching guys and stay tuned till next time.